Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. I do not know how CNN let this slip through the cracks. I actually have two clips here. Uh, I'm going to play a clip with Nancy Pelosi first, but before I get into that, real quick favor, if you could do for me, smash that like button down below and leave a comment. really helps out, and if you're new, please do subscribe. But first, let's watch this clip from Nancy Pelosi, and are they just saying the quiet part out loud, or is Nancy Pelosi just making a prediction in error like she did in 2016? This is a neck-and-neck neck race, and no one feels very comfortable on the Democratic side of things that Donald Trump isn't going to be the next president. Well, I don't think that nobody feels. I think many of us know that it is impossible uh, for him to be the president again well, with what he is that? proposing. Hmm. We are very curious how Nancy knows these things. I mean, she seems to know a lot of things before they happen. Think J6. But I, I did, it might just be a... You know, her in error again. Who knows? I am curious to see your comments down below. But this next clip is the linchpin. This is, I, I'm still in shock that this actually made it on CNN. So this is Kevin O'Leary, known as Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank. And you all know that Letitia James has asked for an increase from the $250 million to $370 million in her New York fraud trial when we know that the only frauds are Letitia James and Judge Engeron because she even went on, and I've done a video on this before, but she admitted beforehand that she already had a verdict. Uh, that doesn't work in court, but watch this. You've been doing real estate for decades. Does this case strike you as odd? Well, let's leave out Trump for a minute and let's leave out politics and just talk about what happens in real estate development anywhere. So if you're a developer and you've got a building on, on a block anywhere in America and it's worth, let's say, $500 million and you want to build a building right beside it, you go to the bank and say, this building is worth $500 million. I'd like to borrow a construction finance loan against this asset. And I want you to tell me it's worth 500 million too. And the bank negotiates with you and says, well, no, we think it's worth 400 million. And you fight it out. You're always trying to show your assets in the brightest light with the sunshine you can possibly determine for them. You want them to be worth the very most because you're only going to get a 40 or 50 percent loan to value, as it's called. Then you borrow that money. In the case of a $500 million asset, maybe you get $250 million, and you build a new building with a construction finance loan. And so that's what this case is all about. What, and, and by the way, forget about Trump. Every single real estate developer everywhere on earth does this. They always talk about their asset being worth a lot, and the bank says no. And that's just the way it is. So... In this case, when I'm trying to figure out, and I'm not pro or con, or I don't care about the politics, who lost money? Nobody. The bank got paid back the construction finance loan, and a new building was built. And if, if you're going to sue this case and win, you got to sue every real estate developer everywhere. This is all they do. This is what they do all day long, every day. So I don't think this thing will ever survive appeal, regardless of what the fine is. This doesn't even make sense. If you're a real estate developer, you're watching this, you're saying, what is this? This is ridiculous. So Kevin's right. There's no way this survives on appeal. And I've actually done a real estate development. Yes, you may not know this about me, but your friendly host, Neil Johnson, has actually done a real estate development. And I've, I've done a few different things with real estate, but I'll give you one example. So I, I bought some lakeshore property. It's in Minnesota. We made lake lots out of it. And when you make lake lots out of a single piece of land, what you have to do is build roads, bring in power and do all these different things. So, and you go through all these permitting processes. And, I mean, you have to do archaeological digs to see if there's Indian bones, 5,000 there. Then you have to go and do these wetland delineations, another 20,000 there. Another survey, 20,000. The money is nuts, okay? But what happens in that process is you go to the bank and you say, I'm going to sell these lots for X amount. And you typically, the bank comes back and says, I don't think you can get that much for them. You're going to get this much. But you're always trying to maximize the value of the property so that you can get the most favorable interest rates and also that you have the most leniency when construction costs overrun because that often happens. So he's right on this. There's no way that this works. But Letitia James and Judge Engeron are not concerned with the truth. They're not concerned with what's real. They just want to prosecute and persecute Donald Trump. It's pathetic. 
I want to thank my sponsor, MyPillow. You know, Mike just got deplatformed by Fox News. Make sure you support him. You can use promo code Lumberjack and get big savings and even free shipping right now. Free shipping on everything, even the big items, the mattresses, mattress toppers, folks. It's a phenomenal deal right now, the after Christmas clearance. MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack. Peace out.